Uh, today, the Berkeley City Council will discuss a plan to add more than 50 license plate reader cameras to streetlights and roads across the city. Berkeley police say the cameras will help reduce crime, but some people have concerns about the technology. KTVU's Ali Rasmus joins us now with more on the discussion. Ali. Pam, according to the city of Berkeley's crime data, auto thefts are up 94% from a year ago in the city, with more than 126 vehicles reported stolen so far this year. Now, Berkeley's police say that if they had license plate reader technology, they could potentially stop some of the people driving around those stolen vehicles. Other groups, though, within the city aren't convinced that the technology really works. Now, here's how license plate reader cameras work. The uh, they scan the license plates of every car that drives by, and if the plate is registered to a car that's been reported as stolen or a vehicle connected to a serious crime, then police get an alert and can stop and pull over that car. The police department and city manager here in Berkeley are recommending that the city install 52 of these cameras to streetlights, lampposts, roadways, and other fixtures across the city. In a letter to the council last month, the city manager says the city of Vacaville reported a more than 30 percent drop in auto theft after installing cameras there. But members of Berkeley Police Accountability Board plan to recommend tonight that the City Council does not adopt this technology yet. They're concerned about privacy, civil liberties violations, and say they need more proof that it will actually reduce crime. What is our vehicle rate? Because we keep talking about how it's grown, but is it really high? Is it, is it higher than these places with the ALPR technology? I don't know. Now, the cities of Oakland and Alameda have mobile license plate readers. They are attached to police patrol cars, but fixed cameras have been more controversial in the past. The city of Berkeley does also have mobile license plate readers, uh, but they use them right now just for parking enforcement. They want to expand that use to other types of crimes. Now, the East Bay City of Piedmont does have mounted cameras at all of its city entry points and has had them for about 10 years. Under the plan, of the city of Berkeley would use the same vendor that Piedmont uses. Now, the cost is about about $250,000 to initially install these 52 cameras across the city of Berkeley. Then it would cost about $175,000 a year to the vendor that operates the technology. The city council meeting starts at 6 o'clock tonight. Live in Berkeley, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.